Another key development that we're tracking, the unveiling of the new national military strategy uh, from the U.S. Pentagon. Uh, if you consider it against what was the previous uh, expression in 2004, it is a truly stunning change because uh, pre-9-11 you basically had a Pentagon, its transformation focused on rising China. 9-11 happens, the 2004 National Military Strategy very much focused on the long war, the war against terror as it was known then. Uh, and so to see this flip back now in the direction of Asia in 2011 and, and really a, a strong diminution of the focus on the long war in Southwest Asia really tells you how much the rise of China has sort of captured the imagination politically in Washington and certainly within the big war community inside the Pentagon, which we would identify as blue, Navy Air Force versus the small wars green community of the Marines uh, uh, and the Army. So there's a strong sense inside the country now, certainly inside Washington, definitely inside some parts of the Pentagon that we haven't been paying attention to China's rise. It's true that the military spending pursued by the Chinese has been substantial, but there has been substantial counter-spending, if you will, by uh, uh, countries, uh, neighbors to China. And the United States has been at the forefront of supplying that in incredible rising demand for uh, weaponry there. Uh, basically a doubling of arms transfers in the last uh, half decade. So if you're in the defense industry, uh, we would argue you're not going to find a lot of joy in future defense budgets here in the United States. Uh, medical costs, uh, personnel costs continue to rise. Uh, we think you're looking more at kind of a Nixon doctrine opportunity in e East Asia. Uh, very much a focus selling arms to allies, kind of doing the balancing on the cheap. Uh, we would point out though that it is incredibly important uh, who gets picked by uh, Obama to be the next Secretary of Defense once Robert Gates leaves. Because Gates has really been a tremendous uh, uh, booster to the whole green small wars, uh, counterinsurgency movement inside the Pentagon. And to, to make sure this balancing, this rebalancing, if you will, doesn't go overboard in the direction of blue, you really need somebody of, of very high stature to step in and to replace him. It can't be just a, 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 a technocratic caretaker.